so how the circuits we are reading in our book for so many years have come out to a product to the chip and that is done by the EDA tool the electronic design automation tool and we know in the market currently the top monopoly of them are cadence and synopsis and also probably mental graphics but as a student we can't afford those expensive software and the problem is that only the bookish knowledge won't give you job you need to do your or make your hand dirty to get a job you need to get the experience because the experience you get from going from an equation to a code to synthesizing it to a schematic to stick diagram to drawing your polygons for the layout and finally if possible to the silicon to the fabrication and that experience is something which as a student we are lacking behind so what's the solution a solution is the open source idea tool and today in this video we're gonna explore those open source idea tool so let's get started so first part of this video is to let you know the name of every tool and their functionality and there are many like seven to eight tools so in second part of this video i'll help you like from where you can install them in some easy way and yeah how to learn them for them we have the tutorial and links are in the description and in third part of this video i will help you to initiate your project work so don't miss the last part so in our design flow we follow two methods one method is that we write the codes or the specification for that circuit in our vhdl or any hdl language and then we synthesize it to a schematic and then from schematic we process to the later steps but in some other strategy what we do we directly start from schematic level and from there we proceed for further steps so the first tool is to let you write your hdl code hardware description language code and that tool can help you to synthesize that code into a circuits and from circuits you can simulate it and a tool name is yosis so you can see the example for example let me do this thing we will use this simple very low code for our this example and here it's simple i am just defining a end gate and how i learned this thing i learned this thing from this course so you can go through that course and you can use this idea tool to get more deep into this subject so what we will do is we will initiate our y sys i have already installed here and here we will use this command and these things are all in the tutorial section of their original site so you don't worry about those things and here what we'll do we will try to read this very low code so it's successfully done and then we can see it graphically also like synthesis like what could be in the hardware and see this this is the thing like we have a and v and these are the thing and then buffer and the output this is simple code but we can do extremely complex thing using uses and also for developing our fpga board this tool is a great if you want to start working on fpga projects and what is exactly fpga we may discuss on some later video but yes there are many opportunity if you know fpga for example see this opportunity here the this person is asking for if you have the knowledge of fpga and this tool is available Available for free if you use of it if you try out many project on your own then I am sure you can convert this type of opportunity for sure but for hardcore analog design you need to start from the schematic drawing like you need to drag the MOSFET or the device register everything you need to make from scratch not like in very low codes so for that the free tool we have it's called Axkim so there you have the full schematic capturing environment you can go to their sites Axkim site there you would be having many resources and they have tutorials also to start you with the software i'll be attaching the site for all the software i'll be discussing today so don't forget to check the description now after designing the schematic what we do we generate the netlist netlist is again like it's the program or coding for of your picture because schematic is like a picture right because that picture computer won't be understanding so for computer to make it easy to understand what we do we convert that schematic into a netlist and these are the simple example of netlist 
and to simulate that netlist we can use another free software and that is your ng spice again you can visit their site they have all the resources in their site so after you are done like these are the rough thing in we do in our front end after you are done with our front end then what we do we pass down this design to the back end engineer and hey if you are thinking that i would be in front end engineer only and i don't need to learn back end then don't be wrong because as a electronics engineer we need to know everything right we may be expert in some domain but we need to know everything so you need to know layout also if you are not interested also then also you need to learn the layout before i go to layout tools if you are getting benefited from this video please press the like button this make me happy so in layout we have the wonderful tool and that is name is also wonderful and that is magic tool and yeah it can do magic with your circuits so after we do the layout right so we can do layout on our own like we can draw any polygon anything but how to know that our layout is as per with our schematic right if we draw in schematic inverter our layout should be of a inverter only not like we are doing end gate in layout and our schematic is a inverter so to make this thing possible like to know or to verify that our schematic and layout are in sync we have to do the lvs layout versus schematic and to do our lvs we have another free open tool software and that is netgen and yeah in layout we have two important verification one is drc another is lvs so in magic we can do drc in build but for doing the lvs we need to have this netgen installed and then in digital circuit we need to follow the timing constraint and uh, to know that if we are meeting that constraint we have another free tool software and that is your sta tool called open time and after you do everything you need to present your project right or to publish your project in github and for that we need documentation and for that you can use this tool and this tool is called x circuit it's a free circuit drawer like a circuit we have drawn in our schematic or layout if we just take a snapshot of those they don't look good in the documentation to make your documentation attractive we can use this okay so after everything one concept we need to know and that is the concept of pdk see we are doing our schematic right we will be doing our schematic probably in some of the technology which could be 180 nanometer technology or might be in 20 nanometer technology so who will define those things like what is the gate length what is the capacitance in my mosfet or blah 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 things those things are coded into a file and which is called your pdk so to work with all these tools we need to have a pdk yes obviously we can define our own pdk but in industry we don't do like this thing like for example qualcomm qualcomm design any chip but they don't define the pdk they will design using the tsmc pdk because tsmc is the fabrication foundry so likewise here also we need to have a third party pdk and for pdk we again have a free pdk and that is from our very own google plus skywater they collaborated in a project and they are providing sky 130 nanometer pdk tool so all these tools which i have mentioned today are compatible with this pdk tool so how to get these wonderful tools to my system and for that the first preference or first requirement is that your system should be a linux system I know we all have Windows or Mac system, but good news is that for those who are running Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can follow this link. There you would be having some way or other by which you can install Linux on above your Windows system. And I have tried and it's working great, fine. And then we have a site and which is our open circuit design site and this is actually a repository which host all the or maximum of the tools i have discussed today so you can go to this site links are in the description don't worry and you can just read it out like what is written there like first of all it is like they are open pdk and open pdk is nothing but like we have discussed right let like sky 130 pdk so what they are doing they are making it's easy for you to install that sky 130 pdk so that's why they have this open pdk 
and then we have uh, other tools like magic then xr kit and other energy and, and blah 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 and in the left side you you have all those things like if i click on magic then i can go to the magic side and in magic side see they have explained everything and they have their documentation like resources are there you don't need to worry and to make this thing more easy actually what i did i built one script for you and this script i'm not sure if it is 100 percent working but i tried many times and in a ubuntu system like i am running a window 11 and top of that i have used that technique to install ubuntu on my system and in ubuntu it is actually working and here i have commented down also like uh, these are the pdq side you need to in install so this is a file this is a sh.sh file you just need to run it in your system and everything will be installed automatically yeah few time you need to give your password for the permission otherwise this thing work on it own and it took time it for me it is taking around one to two hour for you if net speed is little lower then it may take more hour so what i would be suggesting you don't go for all the apps like all the tools don't go for one go you can do it part by part in the script i have written down like from which part to what part you should include for that tool to be installed like for example for first part from here to here like prerequisite is installed if you copy this and run on your system or if you make a .sh file making a .sh file not a tough thing you just need to copy this thing into a notepad and save that notepad into .sh extension that's it so you can copy this thing you can run for prerequisite for one go so it will be done and then if you want to download your why what is called a eosis then you need to copy from here to up to here see so from there you can download eosis and likewise i have given all other thing here so you need to follow it and if by chance this is breaking down then always you have the original resources like these resources because they also have the instruction for your installation like how you can install them so i hope it won't be creating any issue and probably if few of you go through this thing successfully and few of you don't go successfully like you are facing some issue then comment it down and please other help those fellow i may try to help but those who have done this thing successfully you help them out like how you did and what they are not doing so hopefully we will help each other nicely so now we are confused what to do do very low coding do fpga do layout do schematic what to do see 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 hold down as per my suggestion start with x scheme install it draw something there generate then at least try it out with your ng spice get the graph right this is your front end don't go to very low first time try it with from x scheme only after that try to design that thing into your magic in the layout part and in layout part do other thing like thin your drc drc are again design rule check and after layout you can try with the lvs check using netgen so for now i'll be suggesting you use this four tool only for at least one to two week right names are there don't be confused and to help you i have some idea and for that i want to thanks mayank gupta because i got his repository there he have given a nice idea for every one of you like how to start with the open source tool and currently he is in his fourth year of engineering so this is his repository those of you don't know much about github you might be confused but this thing i think you can know from youtube no issue so in github we can host our projects right so there he have explained everything in very nice way he has also given few of the tutorial links from where he refer to design those things and for example what he did in the initial phase he designed a inverter see this is a inverter in x scheme and from this inverter he generated the net list and got the waveform many of you and i was included that i don't want to design an inverter i thought i'll design something big why to go with a inverter only but hey dear in digital system in cmos inverter is like atom for the material right because everything if you know your inverter correctly other things you'll be knowing without any hassle and that's why in any interview they first ask you about inverter only 
for me also in my intel in interview they started with the inverter they spend around 15 minutes in inverter only so if you do this project like making your hand dirty then i guess inverter would be clean and clear for you for any interview preparation and after that he has gone one step more and what he tried to do he tried to characterize the mosfet like we see graphs these graphs in our books every time but we never tried it out probably in any software so this thing give you more insight to that topic right and i recommend you i'll be providing you this link to exactly copy whatever he did to in your system and you also could try to publish it in a github and then post them in linkedin and inspire many more people like mayank gupta so there are many thing you can go through this thing and i hope for first two week three week or one month you can do this thing at least so don't get confused due to this video start with this four tool for the first time and and you might be thinking that hey these are the open tool software and this might not be help in the industry but hey dear using this tool you can't make a super fast gigahertz processor but to know the thing these tools are great and even on your surprise and on my surprise also that using this tool you can make a chip and you can send it for fabrication and that also for free using open lane or actually there are uh, google sponsored program is there and we might be discuss this thing in some other video if you are interested and there are like open lane we have other flow also like queue flow they are automated flow but in this video i am not including those thing because they will make you more confused for now so for now we are not discussing about those thing in some other video we may discuss about those thing and when you will be designing this thing you might face many challenges and you might say hey vlsi engineer are so tough but hey when you start anything it become tough as you be with that product project things become easier and if you still want to know more about like work life balance in the vlsi industry you can check out this video here i explain my experience in the vlsi industry like how i found it out help in the comment section who have doubt about installing this software and see you in another video with a great project idea till then tata bye bye